Good morning. It is Thursday, December 7th, and we are here at PRI. I'm looking at Lucas Oil Stadium right now. There is Lucas Oil Stadium. Oh, hold on, so I. Lucas Oil Stadium. Hey everyone, it's Ryan at GPI. Actually not at GPI today, we're at PRI today. Uh, this is our day two, Friday. Just gonna talk a little bit about some of the key takeaways I've you know, personally encountered cruising through the show for the last day, you know, close to day and a half. Stanodyne, uh, really big release for the uh, GDI, you know, the direct injection market. New stuff coming, a Goliath pump, a big bore pump, that's a, a big bore to the big bore pump. Uh, the great thing about it, it's gonna work up to like 350 bar of pressure, and I'd have to convert it over to PSI, but it, it's gonna exceed flow and pressure of everything else out there. Um, and also, they have a GDI injector that's coming, hopefully spring, late spring of 2024. For It's gonna be huge because none of the large oversized GDI injectors right now will operate at that high pressure like the pumps are capable of operating at. So you lose a lot of your injector flow having to dumb down the pressure. Uh, these are supposed to work actually at 350 bar as well. So pressure increase should help that injector flow uh, with their new injector technology substantially according to those guys. We're super excited about that. Also, they have some GDI basically conversion kits to take port injected vehicles uh, and put an external GDI pump, a high pressure fuel pump like the Goliath pump on a belt drive on the accessory drive somewhere on the engine and turn around and route that to a specialty set of fuel rails and injectors that will uh, operate at 50 to 100 bar pressure instead of like your typical five bar pressure. Uh, they claim that there's up to 20% increase in power with the increased uh, atomization of the fuel and the port injection applications. Basically, having running a hybrid system, uh, you're running more along the lines of direct injection pressure and atomization, but you're still using port location. So uh, that's kind of good uh, for alternative um, solutions moving forward, you know, cleaner uh, solutions as well as potential power increases for the aftermarket stuff. So that's exciting as well. Um, so those guys had huge release. We just actually got out of the release uh, probably 30 minutes ago with those guys. Great information there. Uh, also, the next thing I see is going to be good for our market uh, is the HP Tuners Core ECU. Talked to Tony and those guys at HP Tuners yesterday about that. The ECU is going to have tons of capability uh moving forward uh, obviously it release um, it's going to be based on ls 24x and 58x applications eventually transitioning and adding more options along the way with transmission support and uh, you know obviously inputs and outputs um, are going to be uh, a thing on there so aftermarket control uh, but using the familiarity of you know, the guys that are used to working with HP tuners, it's gonna be kind of a nice um, a nice bridge between your standalone and, you know, guys that are super familiar with HP tuners. So all that stuff is gonna be uh, very familiar to you if you've been working with HP tuners in the past, but still have that standalone capability uh, and flexibility for your transplants, your swaps, your your uh, all your other solutions that, that you may not want to OE ECU for. So that's going to be huge moving forward. Anxious to see how that uh, turns out when it rolls out. So that's where we're at so far. Uh, obviously, we've seen tons of cool stuff. We've been by the Concept Performance booth. Our buddies at Cali's, Cam Motion. We had dinner with Cam Motion last night. K Tech. All of our friends in the aftermarket, pretty much, most of them, we've stopped by and talked to them. We haven't made it all the way through the show yet. We're pretty close. But I uh, just wanted to do a video and kind of talk to you guys about 
our huge takeaways, uh, what we feel like is the most impactful things that we've seen that are dropping at the show. So that's my spin on it. So we're excited to see what next year brings.